for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. It means more than you know to me. Um, so I'm mixing up some paints. I have so many greens right now. It's ridiculous, but you're going to love it. Green is my favorite color. So I, um, I got a lot of compliments on the piece I did. Oh gosh, it was like maybe two weeks ago now. It was really, really fun and pretty easy to do. It was very calming and relaxing. Uh, I really enjoyed working on this piece. Um, it's the really, really colorful one. If you didn't already see it, it looks like this. And um, so yeah, I got a, a lot of compliments on it. So I thought it would be fun to do another one very similar with the same technique. However, do it in just greens. Greens, grays, blacks, whites, um, some accent colors. I have bronze and emperor's gold, which I think would um, complement it very nicely. But who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Could be a disaster. Anyway, I, I love the comments and the feedback that I've been getting. It means a lot to me. Then I can experiment and do things a little bit differently the next time. And um, who knows, one of these days I'll get it right. We'll see. <laughs> it's still a work in progress, but it's a lot of fun doing it. And let's get started. So I have my four shades of green that I'm using. This is Citron Green. It looks amazing with the emerald gold. I did this piece a while back. Maybe you can see it for a close up. Look at the citron green with the gold. It's really, really cool. Um, let's see if I can get it to shimmer. There you go, shimmer. And in the center, this is really cool. Um, this turned out to look like a seahorse, which is fun. And since I like that one so much, I used it again in another piece. So right here, you can also see where the gold, Emperor's Gold, ended up lacing with the Citra Green. And you can see it when it shimmers. And that turned out amazing. I really like that effect. That was very cool. So anyway, some turn out and some don't. It's just the way it goes. Um, so anyways, I have my four shades of green. So this center one is Emerald Green by Artist Loft, the Flow Acrylic. And all I did to make this shade and this shade was that I added two drops of white to this one. A very highly pigmented white. So I only needed a very little bit to get this to lighten down. And a very highly pigmented black. Um, so I only needed about four drops of the black to get the green to get to this really dark shade of green. It might end up being a little too dark. Uh, I'm happy with the way this turned out. I, and I used a similar technique to mixing my grays. I don't believe in buying every shade of gray or every shade of green or every shade of colors that I know that I can mix myself just by adding a black or a white. So here we go. We've got a nice light gray. Nice medium gray I would say because this isn't a quite dark dark gray. So um, yeah, I'm going to go with two shades of gray, not 50 shades of gray. And next I have my black and my white and I did mix a lot and I'm going to tell you why. You're probably wondering why did she mix so much paint for one painting? Uh, no, I'm doing four. <laughs> I really, really liked how my two black canvases turned out, maybe like three or four videos ago. I put them up on the wall side by side, and I was at dinner last night, and I was thinking, wow, that, that looks really nice, those two paintings side by side. So I thought, I'm going to make four, and I'm just going to block them together in my bigger wall in another room of my house, and do a, what is it called, I don't know, tell me, what's a four-piece painting called? I know there's diptych and triptych. What's the fourth one called? I don't know. But anyway, so I'm going to do four paintings all grouped together and they're going to be of matching similar colors with the same technique of the swiping. 
I have my two metallic pinks that I picked up. This one is Emperor's Gold, which is very brilliant. It, it's so stunning. More stunning than your typical uh, regular metallic gold. And then I have bronze. Um, can't really say much about this. Bronze is bronze. I'm using Artist Loft bronze and it's pretty thick. I'm going to leave it kind of thick too so that it doesn't sink away into the painting and that you can actually um, see its surface. So typically when your metallics are very thin now, they'll get washed out into the paint colors. So um, like if you lay it in there with a the black, then the black just becomes kind of shimmery uh, when the metallic paint is too thin. So I like to keep it thicker so I get those lacy effects or some cellage, I like to call it, cells popping out. And so you can actually see big chunks of the metallic paint, like back here, you see this big chunk of uh, metallic copper, which is another one of my favorites to use. Without further ado, let's get started again. Thank mm -hmm. you. 